Every vehicle, whenever you put on the lane assist, if it's it has cameras that if it senses that your eyes or your head's turn the wrong way, it'll it'll then vibrate your seats. They're literally putting cameras in just the sense of your your head and eyes and where everything's at. Oh. I always thought the generation after us was gonna see all this scary AI, artificial intelligence type of types of things, but it's it's gonna definitely happen in our lifetime, no doubt. Oh, yeah. Going to small towns up in PA, it kind of pushes things back and saying, you know, it's going to take forever to get to there. So if the worst comes to worst, I will move out where there's barely anything there. But I don't know, man. I just, uh, it's going to enclose everybody one day. Second gen. So it's scary stuff, man. And you're going to be the only one that's left that's going to be able to do something about it. You're the only one aware. Band everyone together. A lot of people to band together on me. Band everyone together with hatred and fire. I'll try. New vehicles versus old. Alright, well if this weekend isn't the big travel hours and hours away, then then we'll hit the view right after school and then whatever later. Alright, be ready. Alright, right, Nostradamus, we are back in the truck now, about to head home, and we're about to be getting to work with the blue truck. I'm gonna get one of these, and I'm gonna try to pry this panel out. Well, it's coming loose. Never done this to my truck before, man. My first truck, and... <laughs> Never seen the inside of this in any truck, to be honest. Oh, something's holding this side. Two reasons for getting this out of here. I'm trying to find rattling noise, which looks like I'm not gonna be able to ever find. And another reason is that I want to get this module out. That's my OnStar module. Now they can they can either listen in, or you can just be tracked by this. More and more advancements to this kind of technology, more and more every day. But I'm gonna do something to combat that. So I had to use one of these tools to get it out. And I had to pull this down a little bit. So I realized that there's actually bolts underneath there to hold this entire panel. But I think I'll be able to access it from right here. So I'm just going to pull this thing out. It's LG brand, by the way. It should come out pretty easily. So once you get the box here, you can just pull the tabs on each connector. All right. And then the last one. I got this screwdriver set on eBay a long time ago because I used to hack Xboxes with a term known as J-tagging. I used to I used to run modded lobbies on Call of Duty and give people the highest ranking and all that and all the items or whatever. Anyway, so I think one of the sizes in here will work. So you want to just unbolt these screws. It's a pretty easy process. So you're following with me. You'll be able to easily do what I'm about to do. And we'll save your privacy. Open that. Then you want to take this board out, which it should be pretty easy. Just be a little bit careful with it. And then what you want to do is take this out. This little connector right there. And then you just throw that aside. I just threw it over there. Anyways, you can now put it back together which is just basically putting this back on. So this is a very easy process. You don't have to be really into computers to do this. I for one am, but anyone can do that. That's such a simple process. So you just put the lid back on as well. So once you have that on, just bolt it back up, plug it in, and that's basically it. Connects the board to the antenna. You could be saying, why don't you just take this whole thing out? If OnStar is controlled in here, well, this also controls your four-wheel drive and your traction control and does a lot of stuff. I did unplug one of the connectors, and it says check your four-wheel drive, so you definitely don't want to remove this box completely. You need this box, but to disable OnStar, that is the way to go. Maybe one of those people saying, what's wrong with OnStar? I have a subscription. I think it works great. Bluetooth, call people, whatever you want to do. Well... That's the thing, it just tracks your data, they sell off your data, Chevrolet unfortunately does that, and then they can also just listen in. If you look right here, I have a microphone, 
So I don't want them just collecting. It doesn't matter if you have subscription or not. Also, I've never used OnStar. I never gotten into it. I don't think it's really something that I ever need. I'm about to wire this sucker up and test her out. Make sure it still works because collect all the tracking devices, man. It's also just killing your battery for no reason. The three connectors in the box, the LG box. And now I got my key over here. And we'll test her out, see if she throws any codes. Let's see if it's all fine. It looks like it's good. Not seeing any anything that's see the that's not a code, that just means the truck is not turned on. So let's try the OnStar. Hello and welcome to OnStar. Your OnStar account is currently inactive. Please push the blue OnStar button again to activate your account. Learn oh. more about OnStar services. Press it again. Or speak to an OnStar. Connecting to OnStar. I'm sorry. I couldn't connect to OnStar. Please try again. Your OnStar call has ended. Goodbye. There we go. I don't have anything to hide either, I just don't want people listening in on me. Especially when I'm having one-on-one -on -one conversations in my truck. There we go, that should be good. Okay, then over here on the door, I'm gonna pull that panel off. Oh yeah, so if you look on the, on the tab here, oh, it looks like they give you some extra fuses, that's cool. So if you look here, Look at number 2210A, that is the fuse for the OnStar. So just to be sure, you know, can't be can't be too sure nowadays, made in the USA, look at that. Made in USA, cool. Can't be too sure, so I'm going to pull the number 22 right out of the slot. 10 fuse on the second row there, if you can see it, if I can point to it. Under the 5, the 10 right here. Pull that fuse under the code name INFO. You should be good to go now on having OnStar in your truck. Looks like it's not going to focus. But there's the 10. I passed it completely. I didn't know they had a little tool right here for you too. That's cool. So what I'm going to do with this one is I guess just set it right in here with the rest of the ones they give you. Hold on. They aren't even facing all the right way. Go got them facing all the right way there. And what I'm going to do is just install the install this little cover and then we'll turn the ignition again well there we go looks like we're good to go not seeing any errors damn it i cleaned off a pile of shist off the front bumper of the ram yesterday and i just saw a bird sit on it and i had to yell anyways yeah we disabled the onstar completely now now you may be saying well, what if you need the sos what if you get stranded out somewhere and you really need it i mean you need cell signal to do that so if you don't have cell signal then it doesn't really matter you don't have to do this if you don't want to i chose to do this on my own i'm not saying you have to so let me try pressing this by the way the ignition's on i didn't start the vehicle but i did turn the accessory mode on see i can listen to radio this should be working because this was exactly what i did before but since i pulled the fuse 